The injuries are, however, consistent with a microwave attack. And there are microwave, weaponized microwave systems designed for what's called LRAD, which is the same series of letters but stands for Long Range Area Denial. They're built by military contractors. There's even some websites and some YouTube videos by some military contractors who've produced these systems. Raytheon is one. So they do exist, and it is plausible they may have been used in some of these protests. I find that very troubling because even the most powerful microwave weapon is not a battlefield weapon. It won't take out a T-90 tank. It won't even be able to take out a few infantrymen with high-powered rifles because the range of these devices is rather limited. So these devices are actually used for lightly armed or unarmed civilians. They're used by governments on their own citizens, and that's what I find so troubling.